What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you every single thing you need to know on how to improve your 808s, how to make them better. I've already done a few videos on 808s, like how to make them bang, how to put them in tune. If you wanna go check them out, links will be in the description. But now, I've definitely learned a few more techniques on how to improve my 808s. And along the way, I've been experimenting and I've found some new techniques that have improved my 808s and I wanna share them with you. I guess I'm sharing with you my secret sauce once again. So you might as well give this video a thumbs up right now because it's about to be sick. Before we get into it, hit that subscribe button right now and join the family. Also, if you're a real one, hit that bell right now so you get a note every single time I post a video. That being said, let's get into it. Ocean gang go drown. Okay, so I've pulled up a beat here. It's got a melody, it's got all the drums, but it's missing the 808. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna add the 808 to this beat. It's a quite an odd beat that I collabed with a producer on, but here's how it sounds. So when it comes to adding 808s in Logic Pro X, there's two stop plugins you can choose from. You can choose from Alchemy or the EX24 sampler. Personally, I always go for Alchemy unless I'm gonna be using 808s that glide then I would choose the EX24 sampler because it's a lot easier to do and it sounds a lot better. First, I'm gonna show you how to use the Airways and the Alchemy sampler. And then after all of that, we'll come back to the EX24 sampler and I'll show you how to glide. So you wanna open up Alchemy, you wanna hit File, Initialize Preset to get rid of all of this. And then now it's blank. All you have is this one oscillator, Sort A. Then you're gonna hit Sort Import Audio and it comes up with this screen here where you can search for your 808 sample and drag it into the drop zone. I've got some good 808s in all my drum kits and for this example, I'm gonna be using a normal one in my Atlantic kit. If you want a copper kit, link is in the description below. So I'm just gonna drag that in right there. I'm gonna hit sampler and import. So now Alchemy, it's auto mapped my 808 to my keys. So it's auto assigned it, I can play it in now. When it comes to choosing the notes for the 808, the easiest way is to use the notes in the scale that you use for your melody. Here's my melody right here. So all these notes are in a particular scale which I can use for my 8 weights. Or an even easier way, if you don't really know what scale you played in, you can just use the bass notes. Now when it comes to the pattern, the simplest way where you can never go wrong is to literally have your eight weights playing on top of the kicks. So this is my kick right here. That's the kick pattern. So I can just duplicate that and drag that down to my eight weights. It's a bit out of tune, so I'm just gonna look at the bass note. The first one, which is A sharp. I'm gonna control everything on just the eight weight notes. So the first bass note. Now that's a really simple 8 way bass line. I can actually control everything and move it down a few octaves. And then fill the notes a bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna delete those notes and I'm gonna try and find a bass line melody to go with it. playing at the same time as the kick. Now to lengthen these notes, I'm gonna command A, shift and backslash. So it forces legato and they play the whole way through. Also, I'm gonna select them all again, moving down a few octaves. Now we got a little bass line going there. I would add in a bit of distortion just to give it a bit more grit. Makes it a bit louder as well. And then in terms of mixing your 808s, I like to mix it against the kick. So if you look at the EQ of my kick, I take out a lot of the bass, a lot of the, the low end, and I raise it around the 200 hertz. So it actually punches. Now we're gonna do the opposite to the 808. 
If I go to the EQ, I'm gonna drop it slightly in the 200 range. And I'm also gonna take out some of the low end as well. So now they're not competing with each other. When the kick is punching, the eight weight doesn't punch as much. Now the last step to really getting your kick and your eight weight really punching together is to side chain them. So to do that, you're gonna to go to your kick channel and you're gonna send it to a bus. I'm gonna send it to the to an empty one, bus free, and then right here in the studio output, I'm gonna double click and choose no output. And I'm also gonna turn this quite high up. Now in the airway, I'm gonna double click here and that opens up the compressor and I'm gonna to choose to side chain it to bus number three. So now you can really hear when the kick comes through, the airway drops a little bit. And you can really turn up the, the ratio to hear the difference. Personally, when it comes to doing my eight weights, I don't side chain too often. Instead, I like to have my eight weights and kicks hitting at different points. So I'm gonna chop up some of these eight weight notes so it hits at different points than the kick. kick and once you side chain it, it doesn't really sound too good to go so that's the main reason why i don't do it but yeah that's how you do your eight weights with alchemy now the second way i want to show you is if you wanted to use glides then i would use the ex24 sampler so i'm going to go ahead and open it up so i've got the sampler open right here and by default it comes like this to drag your eight weight in here you want to click edit and then you're going to choose your eight weight and just drag it in there i'm going to drag in an eight weight from this pack it's by sx it's called the eight weight paradise Really good 808 pack, I definitely recommend it. So I've dragged it in and it auto assigns to the keys. But again, it doesn't automatically pitch it. If you wanted to do that, you need to find the pitch of your 808. To do that, you can open up audio effects, go to metering and choose tuner. So I'm pressing the C key and it's telling me that it's in B before it was saying C, but it seems like it's in the middle of B and C. So we can come back to the EX24 sampler and we can adjust the tune. So I'm just gonna move it up a semitone. So it looks like now it's in tune, it's in C. So we've got that there. Now when we exit it, we wanna save this. So I'm just gonna save it as something random. So we've got the 808 in our sampler right now. So to add in our glide, our glide effect, because right now, it's playing one at a time. We're going to go to Legato, we're going to choose a Legato, and in this glide section, we're going to raise it up a bit. And you kind of just want to play around with how much glide you want to add onto it. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, for the airway pattern, I'm actually going to duplicate the pattern that we did before, move it up a few octaves. And an easy way to put in some glides is to find a note. So this one is F4, and I'm just going to click on F4 and raise it up an octave. So now when it glides, it's going to go all the way up an octave. Of course, you don't have to do it to an octave, but that's just an easy way. Now I'm going to control everything and move it back down an octave. So that's it for the glides right there. Again, if you want to add in a bit more grittiness, make it a bit louder, you can add in some distortion and you can EQ it to your kick. But yeah, that's about it for my 808 secrets. That's all my sauce right there. So you guys can go ahead and improve your 808. These are all the things that I do to make better 808s. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button below and let me know in the comments what you guys think if it did help you improve your 808s. Shout out this person from the last video. Thanks for commenting. If you want to get shouted out in one of my videos, leave a comment and I pick someone completely random to shout out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at prodbyocean. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys in the future.